damn it. Damn it, I got turned down. Shit. Can I get the brooch back? Bravo, bravo. Flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you, you, you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah! Oh, I s spoilers of the set. Oh, hello. That's fancy. perform this uh, skit like a hundred or two hundred years earlier she would have been burned as a witch Can't make another move on her. Oh, damn. All right. Woo -hoo. This is really good. I like this. <laughs> you got to love yourself a bird. <laughs> well done.
Good job. Encore. Encore, please. Oh, enchanting. Mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. What? <gasps> I have been there. Oh, really? Prepare for the body braziers of the Petite Flaneur in Gay Paris. <gasps> Wait, what now? What? What? Okay, they aren't naked. Clipping though. Let's get super scandalous. Show some wrist or an ankle. Was great. Encore. Encore. Whoa, incredible. Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is Ooh, truly incredulous, awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> So, what'd you think? All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, and I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. You should try writing other letters, too. Sad. We'll never have true love. <laughs> Hi there. Hey. <laughs> this is turning I into one of them days. Oh, hello. Well, you're outside, aren't you? Thank you. I thought you were inside, but no, you're outside. Hi there. Invitation from Mayor Lemieux. Oh God, I can't read that. Monsieur Kilgore, it was lovely to make your acquaintance at the residence the other night. You meet so many people at these kinds of functions. Hard to keep track. I didn't notice, however, that you were near my study when poor Pierre had an accident and some documents simply disappeared. Now I have spent far too long apologizing to make accusations wildly. Just long enough to know when I am owed a small favor. Perhaps your gung-ho frontier spirit and my yeah. cold, old-world cynicism could work quite well together. Indulge me in a meeting, at least. Come to the back of the mayor, mayor the residence at train? night, if you wish. Knock on the door, and my assistant, Jean-Marc, will let you in. Hope to see you soon. Your newest friend, Henry Lemieux. Or Lemieux, or however he's pronounced it. Thanks, partner. Thanks, buddy. But my broken heart, though. I'll never yeah, have true you. love. Yeah, Olivia's way over there. Man, this lighting. What the hell? The there you go, oh, friend. Bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. And God bless the United States of America. Wait a minute, where's my watch? God damn it, you son of a bitch! He's gone! That mother... Ah! Hey, Olivia. Let's go see what, uh... There's a stranger over there with a quest. Let's see what he wants. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, this is, uh, I, I guess supposed to represent Louisiana. There's just, there's heavy smoke from all the pollution in there. Hello there. Hey, do I know you? Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have? At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is. But I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Meet Eagle Flies near Cornwall, Gas, and Kerosene and Tar. Hey! Careful there! It's been too long, girl. Yeah, the poor uh, Native Americans got a really raw deal in America. Another stranger shed head. Can I take my horse? Must be that guy. What the hell? Why do I waste my time? Why? Sir, are you okay? You okay, buddy? Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here. Help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall have poker up the ass. Say thank you, Marco. 
Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of uh, European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ah! Ways I cannot <laughs> see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, chante. Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. My friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe wow. I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watched them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this you time, let the buffoon control it. Check if there's Thank any Thank you, Sir Dognabot, no, for the prime sub. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make this the explosion if they touch the bottom. Uh oh. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships. Wow, wow. shit. Technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Even little boats can sink, okay? Please! Carefully. Look out. Oh, look out. shit. See what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five. Got reload already. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. One more bath and both go bye bye. Please, watch the mine. I'm watching the mine. I got this. I'm going for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now, the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to the other side of the pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. 
They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just brace in the air. Like the voice of the Look who rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. Hold on. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. And was this not difficult? <laughs> it was worth it, though. It was worth it. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of park. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! We're not here for the smart talk. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the boat. My bad. That was on me that time. I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> that was my this bad. This is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration <laughs> of my prowess. Sir, <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> that was accidental that time. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves. Stop to calling me a dimwit. The little sailing boats before they get to other side of park. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the Look who rules the seas. Very good. I rule the sea. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my... In the Balkans. Reminds me of Tesla. Hello there. Now, let me go over the investment. Mm -hmm. Why is it called Press Professor Dragic? Could I get a Tesla gun? <gasps> that would be awesome. Let's see. EF. Oh, Eagle Flies. Way over there. Well, let's go see what Dutch wants. We're going to be scouting out the bank. I mean, the trolley station, I think.
I'm sorry. Dutch is somewhere around here. Let's see if I can get through here. Yep, okay. Got inside his head? Who knows? There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. Well, days in this place you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <sighs> We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make right. us kill you. Hand over your money. All right. Throw the bits in chat. Anyone's got a prime sub? I want them in chat now. And no one gets hurt. Sir, you got a Twitch Prime token? I want you to use it now. Get them emotes. Come on, whip it out. Click the sub button. All right. I said open the game. New subscriber. Ma'am, you got bits? I sense you got bits in your purse. Give them to me now, ma'am. Come on. Get. I want all those Twitch Prime tokens in the chat, which this is a stick up. Yeah, keep throwing them in chat. We need them all. Come on. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. New subscriber. here. And get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Come on, open the door. Mr. New M, subscriber. Check the safe. Sure. Checking the safe. Open it. Open it now. I don't think they keep much cash in there. New oh, hurry. subscriber. Do it. All right, get those Twitch Prime tokens. Okay, I found a couple Twitch Prime There's subs in here. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. New subscriber. Oh, we got Shit. That greasy out son out of a bitch. He set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. New so, subscriber. Follow me, gentlemen! Oh, God. Does this Charlie go to Tahiti? I hope so. Hello. Hold them off, fellas. We got more on the right. Shit! Watch those side alleys, Arthur. We got someone about to be too. Gotcha. Today is gonna pay for this. Some riders coming on this side. Arthur, cover our left. Lenny. Arthur, you need to help Lenny now. I'm trying. Arthur, coming out of the bank on the right. That uh -oh. bastard must have called in every cop in the city. He's setting us up. Outside the saloon. Oh, damn. We are really moving here. Arthur. <laughs> Slow this thing down. I'll try. Oh no. The thing's broke. Hold on! <laughs> That's why you were 
a seatbelt. Oh, God. Dutch! Oh, look, cover. I don't have a shooter. Oh god! Just keep shooting till nothing moves. I don't have a rifle for this shit. This is our chance to move. Let's go. Okay, move. Oh, come on, boys. Got him. Bye, fellas. Hey. Shit. I need a health tonic, please. These guys got a better gun? No. Nope. A normal day in San Denis. How you doing there, boss? Now's our chance. Let's go. My hat. Keep that one. We might need it. I won't miss this next shot. Where'd my hat go? Fuck. Can use DNA evidence on me. Help me out here. We won't stop the Warning shots all. Let me get the cover. Taking my cover. Head for that way. What are you doing? We gotta move. You okay, Dutch? Look a real bang on the head, Dutch. Man, I'm seeing three of everything. You stay down and I'll hold them on. They're chasing us. Take them out. Ahead of us.
We're slaughtering everyone at this point. Everyone's gonna be dead. For some reason I don't have a rifle for this. Try to aim with a right with a pistol is hard on this. Kill the horse! Damn! They blocked the road! Hold on! Use this! Oh, hello! You can now fire in Deadeye without any targets tagged. Woo! $200 bounty. That was a really fun chase sequence. That was good. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got... $15. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? Kill what him. What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Fifteen dollars, hell yeah. I mean, sorry, fifteen dollars and a quarter. Can't forget the quarter. There was something, I heard something growl. Hmm. Come here, horsey. Hey there, beautiful. Let's see. Wait a minute, it says I have zero. It keeps erasing my ammo for my varmint rifle. What is happening? It's like time it's happened now. Let's go pay our bounty off so I can go back into Saint Saint Denis without yep. troubles.
$200 bounty, $15 take. Yeah. Not worth it. I save a bunch of time and just go over over the hill here. Assassin's Creed Odyssey or Red Dead Redemption 2? This one, easily. Done. No question. It's not even an option, just like Red Dead 2 is so much better than Odyssey. Alright, let's go pay our bounty down. Sir, good morning. Yeah, to be fair, this game is better than most games, oh, not just back, those two. Sir. Well, quite the price tag on the little old you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh no, I know. Bye. Oh no. Girl. What is the issue here? Your face. There's not much more to go west. There's a lot of space to the east. Actually, I can't go higher than that. It's like a there's a lot of space down here. Almost no space to the right. It's all ocean probably. I mean, west. A lot of space to the west, none to the east. So if we're going to move one more time, it has to be back into Blackwater area. Yeah, the other west. Let's go back to camp. There's a little bit of room to the north. Actually, there's there's a decent amount of land up here. Could possibly move up in this area. Okay, let me go rebuy more varmint. I don't know what happened to my varmint ammo. Just it keeps disappearing on me. What the fuck? Back the hell off of me. What the blazes? You killed that man. Damn it. He was Tell just He was just playing around with the gun and didn't realize it was loaded and shot the guy in the face. Stacy Nine set. What time is it's gotta be between those hours right now? Back again. Sorry. Sorry. Except the floorboard. Sorry about that. Sorry. Are we cool? Sorry, I, I didn't realize. That that I own that, that was me. That is my bad, and I'm sorry for that. Sold the horse survivor again, god damn. Alright, 
But uh, if it has feathers or fur, keep it in the bag. Well, that was fun. Okay, take a browse. Back up. Sold. You have varmint rifle ammo? You do. You don't. Never mind. Oh, you do. Right there. Fine. All right. I don't have to go to the other guy then. We're good. Anything else? Nothing. Sorry about your window. Thanks for your assistance. <laughs> God, I fucked up his window bad. Hello. How's this compared to the first game? It's way, way better. In almost every way. Let's see what's down that way. Yeah, so far everything's better. The story, the writing, the the acting, the set pieces, the graphics, the environment, the gameplay, the mechanics. Almost everything's better. Help me! Help me! Please! Uh, most people don't remember, haven't played the first game in a very long time. We we just played it last month, so I, I have a refresh non-nostalgic memory of the first game and its story and everything and I like the story of this one much better so far hi there You can't compare a 10 year old game by playing it recently. You can't refresh your memory on something. You, what, you only rely on memory? That's it? But the other, the other game is nine years old, so it's been a while. Actually, eight years old. The first game's a good game, it's just it's okay, then. much older. Yeah. It was good for its time, definitely. There's money to be made somewhere around here, but maybe in the house? Easy now. Hello. Try the front door. Back door may be locked. Go ahead and smoke some cigars. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I'm comparing the story. Stories are doesn't matter if it was written a thousand years ago or modern day. A good story is a good story. But so far, the story is much better than this one. There's a lot more depth to it and things going on. Well, we can't judge the entire game yet because we haven't gotten to the ending. First game had a really impactful ending. So we'll see how this one compares when we get there. Yeah, I don't know why they had to go core and then also a meter. It's an interesting system. card 
Oh yeah, the, this game has a much better start. The, the first game was very, very slow paced at the beginning. You didn't really start picking up until you get to Mexico. I don't see where this person is. Oh. Oh, you. Hello there. Hey, you better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Oh, I do. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. That bottle that bottle's not in his hand. Right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that debt. Someone's here, boy. This house is shitty, bro. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? I see a knife there. Under the sink? Best place for. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. I see that knife. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I can't. I've been keeping it away from him. I ain't that lucky. Paul, what you done? What you done? Uh, where is my money, sir? I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. Well, I can't have people seeking revenge later. Oh, you have a My card. A drunk and a destitute. There ain't oh, hello. Else here. I'll take that one. Oh, another card. I'll take that too. Nice, thank you. Candy. That's it, I told you. Hold on. I'm taking the rest of your stuff, sir. All right, we got over here. Let's see. L lotion. <laughs> You won't find nothing else here. Please oh, just I'll leave. find plenty, boy. Don't worry. I'll take the Miracle Tonic. Nothing in there. You think there's more here? That's it. 
Hold on, I'm looking for the rest of your stuff, boy. in there nothing over there double barrel shotgun I already have one of those that one's I don't need your shotgun gin though I shall just take that since I have a free slot. Oh, cigarettes. <laughs> Let's see. Now I can take that. Yeah, he just one puff cigarettes like crazy. Ooh, another card. Ooh, telegraph. Oh, you got anything on you, drunk man? Well, you, you done pissed yourself, didn't you? Gin. All right, see what's in this other room, boy. Hmm. Nothing in there. I see a letter. A letter from to Nate from Mama. You know your father's chin, especially when he was drinking around all the time and he was going to work at the small house. Give me word, I'll send for you. We both start again. You need to go to your mama, boy. Your mama will take you in and take care of you. We got all the loot here. Let's see if I can give that boy his letter. You got the money, go, won't you? I got your damn letter, and I can't give it to you. Damn it. Going to hell again. Here comes the big bastard. Get in pretty deep. Now! Open up with that master! Damn Raiders. All right, I'm gonna have to smoke some more. Some gin.
Let's go, girl. All right, let's go, girl. Yep. I don't need their loot. Hey, hey. You good, girl? Hold on, girl. Be free. Be free, girl. Be free. I'm the horse whisperer. Two star boars, boo. All right, girl, we're gonna hit you over here. Easy, easy. Susan's left reward for you in your room. Ooh, hard, girl. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a lunch break now. And I got to get ready for the stream we're doing in about an hour. Uh, thank you guys for watching. You guys have been great. I'll be back in an hour, and we're going to play some Call of Cthulhu. Also be talking about the new movie, Suspiria, that comes out tonight. Um, and how that movie is. Uh, thank you guys very much for your support today. You guys have been great. Hope you guys stop by in an hour. If you guys are new, don't forget to follow um, Mr. Dan's Gaming. Uh, thank you all for being here, hanging out, having a good time. Hope you enjoyed today's stream. And I'll be back on in an hour with... Some spoopy call of Cthulhu. How are you? Thank you guys very much. See you guys in an hour from now. Bye, guys.